Hey guys, what's up? Sean here, and welcome to our awards show, I guess we're calling it, sort of. It is the best and worst of WWE for the year of WrestleMania 34, joined by... Scott, as always. And the rules of this are as follows. These are awards handed out by us uh, from the day after Mania last year to the day before Mania this year. Now, of course, we are not going to have the go-homes... But I really can't imagine that the best match of the year is going to take place on the go-home to Mania. Hey, you, Seth and Finn might have a really good match. <laughs> so I'm not deeply concerned about that. And we will theoretically do this every year for the rest of time. That, that's the plan. Yeah. Uh, so Manias are excluded, though. There is nothing from Mania. The beginning of la like the end of last Mania and the beginning of this Mania are not included. They do not count. Only the build to them and the fallout from them. So they are the end point, and they are never included in these awards. So Mania cannot be the best or worst of anything, which good is for good. them. <laughs> it's eight hours long. Nothing possibly good could happen. No, no. <laughs> like four hours could be great, but come on. Can I do WrestleMania 3 of four, of 34? <laughs> <laughs> so, the way this works is uh, we have each written down our answers, but yep. we have not told each other. Nope. So, the debate will rage as yep. uh, I award Kane every category. <laughs> <laughs> Kane wins. Kane wins. By God, Kane wins. So, we don't have, like, the best superstar and the worst superstar, but yeah. we have most overutilized and most underutilized, because I thought I like that, that was one. a better way to put it. Yeah, Dave. Yeah. So, starting... Oh, and this is all WWE only. Yes. This is only for WWE, which is why it goes Mania to Mania. That wouldn't make any sense to include TNA <laughs> in that. So, or New Japan, or... Yeah. yeah. So, that's why it's like this. Maybe there'll be a separate thing for other stuff Maybe at some TNA. point. But... <laughs> the TNA Awards. <laughs> From Slammiversary to Slammiversary. <laughs> the best and worst Alberto of impact. Alberto Del Rio. But we are going to start with most overutilized. You want me to go first on this one? Uh, the, the, the drum roll is happening, I believe. Can't. Yeah, I hear it. All right. All right. Am I good? Yeah, you're good. Ginger Mahal. All right. Now, Ginger is the obvious choice, right? See, I was trying to not go obvious, but literally, when I read this question, it was the first one that popped in my head. I was like, was anyone worse? It was the first that popped in my head, but I decided to go Sheamus and Cesaro as a tag team. Now, see, that was probably going to be my second Because <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> they have been in every feud that Raw's tag division has had the entirety of the year. Even New Day dropped out of the SmackDown feud. Yep. For a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sheamus and Cesaro will not go away. And, like, they're not terrible. But No, but they're just here the all the fact that no one else has got to do anything because yeah. they have been nonstop. Which is weird because I don't think they like Cesaro. Now, Ginger, obviously, a strong choice because he did hold the number two belt he in the company. He may have vented too many shows. Number, yeah. Number two belt. Well, you it's know. It's really number you, one in my heart. You know, Brock has the other one, so it's number two. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely number two. Now, you could have argued in the same for your thing that Randy was also most well, over Well, he was close. But, like... But he didn't really... He didn't do anything. After that, yeah. he didn't do anything. <laughs> like so. he, Randy's on here. At All least right. Once. <laughs> so, uh, I won't drum roll again until we get to the next set of categories, but the most underutilized... I picked Finn Balor. Agreed. Okay. Um, I <laughs> this th one was easy. <laughs> I don't even love Finn, per se. No, nope, exactly. But I think there's a lot of money to be made with Finn Balor, and they're just leaving it out there. I think they can make so much money with the real Balor Club stuff, not just, hey, they're here. And also the demon stuff is like more over than like half the superstars and they used it. Yeah. Well. They used it once in the past year. I'm gonna look up something really quick because it, it relates to the demon situation. Who held the Intercontinental title? I can't spell, but sorry. Uh Miz. Miz had it, Roman had it. Miz had Not it. Combined reigns. So it was the Dean. Dean dropped it to Miz who Gave it to Roman, who got it back. Miz so, wouldn't have lost it if Rum wasn't... I mean, if Miz didn't have to go to do a movie. Yeah, so... I feel like there's a place here that Finn could have had a reign all year. Mm -hmm. and, and, the, and now he might get it, like, a year later. Yeah. But definitely underutilized in the 
the past he, year. Yeah, he's been wasted. I don't. He had a feud with Bray Wyatt where there was a bucket of blood. <laughs> we were there for that. <laughs> he almost became Pumpkin Balor. He was Demon twice. Sorry, I messed that up. The only relevant thing he did all year was fight AJ accidentally. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so that almost made me pick that as the show because I was just so happy about it. <laughs> so I think <laughs> that uh, there's definitely a case to be Look made. Look at the there. Mrs. Brains. A struggle. Oh yeah, he's he's everywhere. He has high numbers. Uh, I ride back at 112. Tell me when I was looking up the Raw Women's Title, you get fucking Alexa Bliss for like look how recent. But look years. how recent Ryback's championship win is. <laughs> that was three years ago. But Bliss is like is like a hundred uh, something. Yeah, eight days Sasha, two hundred something. <laughs> I don't get it. I was like, why I even? I feel like she hasn't wrestled for anything. Why even give it up for eight days? So now, our next set of categories. Long drum roll. Okay, it's done. Uh, our next set of categories are the best belt slash title scene, worst belt slash title scene. Now, I described it as title scene because I didn't want to. The, the I universal think it was belt title one, by the way. How did you cheat? So go to WWE.com. Why would I go to WWE.com? Because this is for main roster only. Let's specify that. Correct. Because I feel like NXT's belts don't count. Oh. Well, oh. no, because they're like... Well, don't worry. I cheated. <laughs> they're to promote somebody and then they're go to... Go to Superstars? Then they're to... Oh, EC3 debuted last night. Go down. Look what's the main roster championship. <laughs> I picked the United Kingdom Championship. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. I went into it. I was like, okay, what are the main titles? And then they put that there. And I was like, this guy found a loophole. <laughs> well, that gave me a shot. Because here, let's be serious. Universal title hasn't had a scene. <laughs> WWE title was Jinder Mahal. Next year, I will have to go to WWE.com before I write the categories. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Raw Woman's title has literally been Alexa Bliss. SmackDown... I don't know who it was before Charlotte. I do. Natalia? It was Natalia, Naomi out of Mania, Natalia, Charlotte. That's it. Yikes. Okay. Um, I was not picking the the closest I had was I C and Raw Tag. So I chose I C because I thought there it, I don't really remember clearly the first <laughs> half of the Miz's reign, but him deep. getting it back from Roman and the stuff with Roman having it, I thought there were good matches in there. That's fair. And I think that the Miz has been good the whole time. So, of like I was thinking, you know, the WWE didn't have good no good times. Even when it year. was on AJ, nothing good was happening. They have so many people, and they did not have a good year. Universal, <laughs> like, there were moments where, like, people were excited to see matches, but then they were one-minute matches, so then, no. <laughs> Look at Brock's face. He just doesn't care in his picture, either. I I guess there could have been an argument for SmackDown's tag, because people really like the New Day Uso but feud. But that was literally after that or before that. There was no, 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 that's why it didn't win. Sheamus <laughs> <laughs> and Cesaro, absolutely not. And the U.S., no. U.S. title, I have no idea where it's Well, been. it was AJ. And Kevin. Yeah, but that was bad. Yeah. Those exactly. matches didn't work. That's my point. Yeah. Those <laughs> matches were bad. But So I got my loophole. <laughs> there you go. All right. Loophole. I looked on that. I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> All right. Who's your worst belt and title scene, Mr. Loophole? WWE Championship with Raw Women's Championship coming in a close second place. See, I was going Raw Women's Championship, but then I went to Wikipedia and I looked. SmackDown Women's title is by far the worst. <laughs> Naomi, Natalia, Charlotte. I don't even remember what happened when Naomi had it. I only remember <laughs> Natalia having it because I couldn't believe Natalia had it. Yep. But I don't know anything that happened in there. And Charlotte's had it in the most uneventful title reign that ever has been, which has only been building to an Asuka match at Mania. Which hasn't even been building to that because there is no build for this. It's just, it's happening and that's it. And you have to settle on that. So I thought that was by far the worst. At least on Raw, I feel like Alexa's had some feuds. Yeah, I, I guess. don't remember Charlotte even having feuds. Except Alexa didn't defend for like three months. <laughs> yeah, but I don't remember the women's title on SmackDown that's, being yeah. defended. So as far as I'm concerned, neither were defended for well, months. Well, the reason I picked the WWE Championship is because it's the most important belt and it literally was 
taken by a jobber for the entire year. I feel like, but I feel like even Universal's weaker than. Well, I was gonna pick Universal. At least they WWE have better match. Was, they have better matchups. Yeah, and feuds like Samoa Joe and Brock until they actually had their match was a good feud. Like at least WWE is on TV and being booked in something. It brought a Punjabi prison to us all. Yep, we're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> so now wow, we should do worst match of the year. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would have been too hard. I would pick the Punjabi. I think I'm drum rolling through this. But anyway, if we drum rolled, we drum rolled. If not, too bad. The best pay per view and worst pay per view categories. Now this is exclusive you to first to main roster, one. so takeovers were not applied to this. My best pay per view of the year was TLC. That was literally the only one that I considered. <laughs> and it was only because of AJ versus Finn. <laughs> well, it was that. And, and like the weird the shield thing, this yeah. was kind of funny. That was funny. I was amused. Who else was in that show? Cause it, that was mump season. See that? I know. <laughs> I was. You don't know how long I went through Wikipedia agonizing over what I was going to give this award to. I did the same thing. I went from Mania and I just kept clicking over and I was like. I don't like any of these. The worst one was the hardest to choose because I really thought a lot of them were bad for Mania on. They were all bad, but that was quick So this me. had Sasha, Alicia Fox, Asuka, Emma, which was all awful. Cedric and Rich Swan versus Gallagher and Brian Kendrick, terrible. Alexa Bliss versus Mickey James, awful. Enzo Amore and Kalisto, can't even. <laughs> <laughs> but then it went Finn Balor and AJ, cool. Jason Jordan and Elias, eh. And then Kurt, Dean, and Seth versus Miz, Strowman, Kane, Cesaro, and Sheamus in a five-on-three table, ladders, and chairs. It went on for 35 minutes. So every seconds. show, I felt like either had two or one match that was good and nothing. So else. what did you give it to? I gave it to the Royal Rumble. See? And that's only because I liked two matches on it more than... Really. I was close, but, it was but <laughs> I knew who was going to win. Both Rumbles. Yeah, like, that's fair. So I got, like, I was like, it was fun not wanting Roman to win, but <laughs> the rest of the card I distinctly remember thinking was awful, mm -hmm. and it was two Rumbles that I kind of knew what was happening. I think we can agree that every card was awful. And, like, with Shinsuke, I, I only knew because I read the internet. Yeah. So that one doesn't, not so fair. But the Oscar one, they said it on air for weeks. <laughs> so, like, that one was more annoying. Well, it was either to her me. or Nikki Bella, so. Because you can't really be mad at them when you read spoilers six months in advance. Yeah. And therefore, you know what's happening. But when Oscar's being like, Oscar's going to win the Rumble. Oscar already won it. <laughs> it's already done. It's like, well, yeah. She oh, is. and the Ronda debut helped. Yeah, no, but Rumble was probably my number two in my potential option. I thought about Survivor Series, but then I was like... When I looked at TLC, eh. I saw two Cruiserweight matches, like, nope. Yeah. With, and that was Asuka's uh, debut. Yeah, with Survivor Series, basically, the reason I went against... I was going to go with it because AJ and Brock. But then I was like, Finn and AJ's as good, and it had the TLC match at the end, which was kind of okay. So, yeah. there was the... Whatever one had the five way for the Universal, I, I kind of considered. I think it was SummerSlam, maybe. I think really? it was four way. Whatever it was. I don't know. But the, when he went through the table and left and then came back. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was good. But, but SummerSlam. Come on. But I DQ'd it for being nine hours long. Yeah. There was no. Well, that's why Survivor that. Series also got DQ'd. It's like there's so much filler nonsense on here that I can't. This one. I mean, I assume that it this Cruiserweight tag nonsense, match was okay. I don't know. It probably was fine. I see Brian. I don't Kendrick. remember it's it. It's debatable. Probably was fine. So, uh, now for the worst pay-per-view. WWE Battleground. Okay. Battleground is Punjabi Prison? Yes. <laughs> I went Backlash. Because, Fair. Fair. <laughs> because, okay. So, back... I remember last year, coming out of Mania, thinking that they had, like, the worst string of pay-per-views in a row. Everything was the there worst. There it is. So, <laughs> Battleground was Aiden English and Ty Dillinger. Oh, this was a call. I... Because at first, I went looking yeah. for where was the Punjabi prison. Yep. And I almost gave it to this, not for the Punjab prison. The flag match? The flag match. You know, <laughs> the fucking flag match. Because that's just... It was bad. Terrible. It was bad. But you've got New Day... And, and, and Natalia won the number one contender match. See, New Day and the Usos happened here. Yep. So that was probably good. Yep. Shinsuke and Baron, <laughs> not good. Natalia won the title by defeating Becky, Charlotte, Lana, and Tamina. When, um, what I can only imagine is the worst thing ever. 
Kevin defeated AJ in one of their bad matches for the U.S. title. So that was the def- one that messed up. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Because I can't... Oh, there's an, one. Maybe it's mine where he gets stuck in the announce table and counted out. <laughs> one of them. Cena and Rusev have a flag match. Sami Zayn defeats Mike <laughs> Kanellis, who I didn't even know was a thing, in the co-main event of the evening, yep. mind you. And, <laughs> and then the Punjab prison. But Which at least twenty seven minutes long. I kind of enjoyed the Punjabi prison for the amusement of it being a Punjabi prison. Uh, <laughs> just like <laughs> this is great balls of fire. I almost gave great balls pick? of fire the win. I almost did too, but because it had ambulance match. Just, just, yeah, just was fair. trying to note why I liked it, and that was that was why had the ambulance match. Money in the bank. I was like, it can't be because it's money. I almost gave worse to Extreme Rules because... It wasn't extreme. You know, the lack, and the Kendo Sting on a pole match. Oh, that's that's a strong one. That might have won worst match of the year. That was strong. That was really bad. So, Backlash, which is what I chose, kicked off with Dillinger versus Aiden English. did Shins- I have that on mine, too? Aiden English and Ty Dillinger? Yeah, you did. <laughs> uh, Shinsuke <laughs> taking on Dolph. The Usos defeated That's Bree Zango, you know, which I had seen him wrestle like yeah. two weeks before this in a against dark Dolph, match. Right? Against Dolph, yeah. yes. Uh, the the, the Usos defeat Bree Zango. Sammy defeats Baron. The welcome... This is how it won. I saw the words welcoming committee, and that was it. <laughs> For those of you who forget the welcoming committee, that's <laughs> Natalia Tamina and Carmella with James Ellsworth <laughs> defeating Becky, Charlotte, and Naomi by submission. How? Who tapped? And yes, no, I also have Kevin and AJ, where AJ just defeated by the announce table because his foot gets tangled in a wire. Luke Harper beat Eric fucking Rowan in the Cobain event. And then Jinder and the Sin Brothers defeated Randy Orton. Oh, he won the belt there. In a 15-minute match of doom. That would definitely be my second choice. Oh, this is a (laughs) strong one. (laughs) Because I was remembering, like, I was like, okay, it was really bad after Mania, and it got a little better over time, but it was still bad for, like, six in a row. I feel like if the show's sponsored by Rocket League, it's always bad. This one felt like it just had to have the award. Because Uh, Payback, I had considered, because I remember hating it. But I was like, but Braun Strowman defeated Roman. So and it had Jericho. And it had Seth and Joe. And Austin Aries. He was alive. Yeah. So this this was much, much stronger. And the bar weren't champions. Yeah. This was much stronger. <laughs> so it was clearly backlash. Now, really quickly, uh, best show, worst show for the TV. Best show? Oh, well, it said main roster. Yeah. I picked NXT. Well, it didn't say main roster. Okay, whatever. So I picked NXT. All right. Fair enough. What'd you pick? I gave it to Raw because at times good stuff happened. Fair. And I don't watch NXT enough. So Fair. and they could if two oh five live had been running a tournament for the last year. Yeah, that would be really they good. might have a shot. Yep. But they had a really bad year other than that. So can't but like SmackDown was awful. I picked SmackDown. <laughs> yeah. So worst it, show. It was Smack- bad from the shake up and on. <laughs> it could have been two oh five, but SmackDown's more I'm important. I'm not gonna mean two oh five. Well that's th- SmackDown's <laughs> more important. So it has more responsibility to not be a shithead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Now we'll get to the real stuff. Here okay. Is. There we go. Drum roll. So now we are doing individual brand MVPs, and then at the end of all this we have the company MVP. Yep. But first the raw MVP. Braun. Yeah, it's Braun. <laughs> I, I wore my shirt to this make is, sure that this we got the easiest one. Yeah. <laughs> Braun is he is raw. Raw is Braun. Yep. Uh if if Woken Matt had been woken all year, could have been Woken <laughs> Matt. Kane was in strong consideration. He was in all these feuds with Braun. He was. He was p- instrumental to Braun's success. I don't even have a second place. <laughs> Second? Who would be second? I was thinking Rollins, but he wasn't really anything no. until uh, like a month ago. If we Miz maybe, if we were doing all right, if we broke it into like halves, yeah. Braun is the first half MVP, yeah, for sure. He didn't have as much going on in the second half as far as actual storylines. Like he's broken things, but. It wasn't like a official thing. I wanted it to be Joe, but I couldn't think of anything Joe did. I wanted it to be Joe too, and there was some good Joe. There was some there good was, Joe, and there was not some not so good Joe. But I think like the last 
two months have been me anticipating Matt Hardy doing fun things. <laughs> so I really almost like if you if you go with why do I tune into Raw live for three hours rather than fast forwarding through it later, yeah. it's because I want to see what Matt's up to. So like Matt's my like second place because I just want to know what Matt's doing. I watched all of Raw last week to see what Bray and Matt would do, and then it was just Matt doing nothing. But hey, so who was your SmackDown MVP? AJ Styles. It was AJ. It was hard because he didn't have a great year. As Sami far as Zayn didn't turn. Um, no, if Sami Zayn turned earlier. He would have been second. Yeah, I, I that storyline's so annoying that I mm-hmm. I can't. I fault. Sam, it's not Sammy's fault, but I fault Sammy for being <laughs> instrumental in that storyline's awfulness. Uh, Two hundred five live. I picked Neville. Uh, okay, I gave it to Cedric because I think he's been the key to the tournament thing well i've picked i picked neville because when it was awful yeah he was, he was the only hope <laughs> no he was the only hope i'll give you that um but i think now he's gone but i think whatever success they have had with this tournament is partly because people are interested in cedric so nxt uh johnny gargano see uh i have both cheated and not cheated i have Shayna. As, like, I am interested in what Shane is up to more than anyone else. Yep. I'm curious about that whole mm-hmm. thing. Or Pete Dunn, if him randomly appearing counts. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably going to be my second. I, don't, I would, Probably people would pick Alistair, but, I mean, eh. Yeah, I don't... Eh. <laughs> no. Eh. I thought, yeah, I considered it. Now, we are going to move our tag team MVPs here, because I did not move them in the right spot on the sheet. Tag team MVPs, I got the Usos. I also have the Usos. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was hard not to pick the Usos. So, while we're doing tag teams, I guess, real quick, the best feud is the Usos and New Day? Yep. Okay. Get the tag teams out of the way. <laughs> yep. I threw them out of my face. All right. So, now, on to the more important category. <laughs> best feud slash story. So this is very bi- uh, recency bias. All right, but I picked Johnny versus Tommaso. Okay, um, because they actually kept the story. <laughs> yeah, I I, look, I thought they were gonna throw it away. <laughs> at first, I did not have. I don't think I had this including NXT, and I, I altered it yeah. to make sure that NXT was allowed mm-hmm. because I figured that that was a sh- that had a shot. I had a second one just in case. What was your second one? Alistair Black and the Velveteen Dream. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now I. Have gone in a I totally wait, different direction. I can't wait to hear yours. I went Braun versus Roman. Okay, so there was, was lots that of was, good. That would have been my main roster one, but only because it started before Mania. I didn't. Okay, I, I just feel like it was really good. It was reviving Roman in some ways. And it was making and, Braun a superstar. Yeah, <laughs> the ambulance match, all these things that happened. I felt Where like he killed him. And it was basically Braun's whole thing. Mm-hmm. Like that was his beginning. There's a beef, the the little thing with Brock, but not really. Oh God, no. Uh, I mean, he hasn't really even the elimination chamber was still happening, basically. So and what's good about my the feud I picked is it's not even over. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't even had the match yet. <laughs> Braun and Roman never gonna end probably. No, no, that would be the <laughs> probably w- continue for life. That's uh, That's Randy a- and Cena <laughs> of present day. Honestly, they have good matches. They have better matches, though. Yeah. Cena and Randy never really... We've discussed Randy Orton's over hype yeah, yeah, yeah. So, now, worst feud in story, I have, like, multiple things. I right have there. Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal. All right. I, <laughs> I put that because, duh. Yeah. But I also wrote Money in the Bank, just all of them. <laughs> Both money in the banks. That's a good one. They have been awful. <laughs> That's a very good one. Or Bliss versus Bailey. That is also a good one. For being what it was. <laughs> Randy and Bray were this close just because of one match. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I had to check. I was like, oh, only House. No, I like House of Horrors for its pointlessness. Yeah. But fair. the part that it almost wins is because that's where Ginger shows up. <laughs> Do I blame Bray for that? <laughs> is it Bray's fault or is it Randy and Ginger's that's how fault? He, that's how he won the House of Horrors match. But I thought Money in the Bank was a strong... Now remember the House of Horrors. That ended in a ring. Yeah, it did. They got in a limo and drove back to the arena from like Mississippi or Missouri to that's LA. That's the last time we ever saw the bludgeons. <laughs> so 
that was a yeah. I just money in the bank has been so bad between <laughs> Baron just losing it that to was so a distraction, bad. Carmella seemingly not going to be able to win the belt with it. Although, spoiler alert: there are reports of Nia facing Asuka coming out of Mania at house shows. How? Why is Asuka? Because Carmella is going to win the Raw title. But is Nia going to SmackDown? Whatever, I don't know. Maybe they're going to fucking flip the belt. I don't know. Maybe they just give Asuka the Raw belt, and I don't know what they do, but. But I, I'm i fearful that <laughs> Carmella is walking out of WrestleMania at the Raw Women's Champion. At least she won. <laughs> if my Nia does not get her goddamn belt, and it's probably going to be on the fucking pre-show, which means I'm going to miss it because I won't even be here for the fucking pre-show. It better be on the pre-show. They better not be on the motherfucking pre-show because I might miss the damn thing. What time does Mania... Five? Yeah. I'm... <laughs> I might be here at like six. God damn it. I don't think it would be the first one. Didn't like Dean and Yeah. <laughs> but the women are like more marquee because when they like do the um when they introduce the matches every week, they do both women's matches. It's probably gonna be the middle one because it's gonna be a battle royal thing and a battle yeah. royal. I think you'll be okay. I better be. But also, fucking, I better not be if Carmella wins the goddamn thing. I better miss the fucking <laughs> shit or I'll lose my goddamn mind. So now, uh, we've got Best is debuting Superstar. Which... This is going to be... Um, the rules of this, I assume, are called up to main roster. Yeah. It's going to be controversial. <laughs> okay. I picked Elias over Asuka, Shinsuke, and Bobby Roode. Okay. And I, that's because... Well, actually, you can go first. I forgot... First of all, I forgot Elias yep, even happened. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Although I would DQ him for having not done anything. But the only <laughs> reason I did pick him is because he's more over than Asuka, Shinsuke, and Rude. I agree on Shinsuke and Rude being nowhere near capable. Asuka was close, but she debuted late. I gave it to Asuka because I think she's a pretty big deal. So yeah. She yeah, yeah she's <laughs> she has had the most instant momentum. Yep. Of the group. Of Although, the group if you consider time. Bobby being in the U.S. title no, instant momentum, no, then he had no. that too. But I think Asuka... I don't even remember what he debuted. <laughs> I think... And then the other... Like, Elias is... But the, he hasn't... He hasn't done much. He beat Finn Balor. But that's about all I got. And I think his matches are okay. But I don't know that they're... Extra I just interesting. Think the way he connected with the crowd was for Asuka's match against Sasha on Raw and the follow up the next <laughs> week against Bailey. Just those two matches. Well, oh, and her domination. I and assume. the fact she won Royal Rumble. Yep, that helps. <laughs> that didn't help Shinsuke. No. Nope. Because he <laughs> doesn't have a match on Raw. And they had <laughs> or him, that town. Whatever. And they had him lose to Ginger twice. Yeah, and he barely beat Baron Corbin. And Dolph. And Dolph. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> Shinsuke, not not no. qualified for this whatsoever. Not at all. All right. The drum roll is complete, which means we move on to, I think we're going to do company MVP, then match of the year. Yeah. Agreed? Yeah, that's fine. Company MVP. This was a lot easier than I expected. This includes main roster and not the main roster. It doesn't matter. It's still Braun Strowman. It is Braun Strowman. <laughs> Again, the shirt. Um, yeah, there's no... He had the year. And because we don't include Mania, the fact that he has nothing going on at Mania, basically, that is relevant at all, does not disqualify him from this award. He didn't have anything at Mania last year, either. No, he was in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, still, and he was eliminated. And he's the most over human being on the show. Yep. He, he had a cello. He, he did. <laughs> like, See? That helped Elias. He, him getting smashed with... The cello was everything, everything, everything everyone wanted. Exactly. So, Braun was the easy pick. Yeah, that was... Now, your match of the year. Well, it was only between two. Okay. They both happened in NXT. Yeah. I picked Johnny versus Andrade, and I assume you picked the UK. Yeah, I picked yeah. <laughs> uh, Pete Dunn, Tyler Bate from TakeOver Chicago. That was usually the match of the year in 2017. Yeah. 
I then, picked that one. I knew. <laughs> I kind of knew you were going to pick that. <laughs> this one was not much of a no, surprise. No, no, no. I considered for a bit AJ Brock or AJ Finn because I thought those were good. But those were not. for a main roster. They were good. Yeah, good. good main roster doesn't usually do good. No, they do not. I disqualified the Finn one for being pointless. Like it had no build or any reason yep, to be happening. It did not have a build. So and I cheated. Brock, I thought, although it wasn't for a belt, it was kind of for like can AJ beat fun. Brock. So it had a little bit more of a thing to it. But oh also Finn's was disqualified from being the demon. Because yeah. he was gonna win no matter what. Jerk. So that was DQ automatically. For being the demon. But Dunn and Bait, I thought, was easily I think there are people now who would argue some of the matches from 205 Live that have been happening because people they are like... They have been really good. People are super into that. Like, mm-hmm. but... Well, it's because they have time. <laughs> yeah. Not like everyone else. No one else has time. <laughs> but, like, I thought... I haven't really liked any Tyler Bate match other than with Pete Dunne. But this Can't one really was... name any without it. <laughs> but this one was very good. And I think it's just... I didn't. I watched the Johnny and CN thing, but I. I figured. I didn't have that. any context for what was going on, so out of context, it was just all right. Yeah, you, you definitely have to know the story of Johnny to yeah understand the entire match. And I don't think I would ever like. He's basically Daniel Bryan. Yep. And, and I don't think I would ever, even if I knew the story, would be on his side at all. <laughs> <laughs> like the oh nothing's fair nothing goes my way thing I don't fine then nothing's fair nothing goes your way shut up and get over it <laughs> so like I feel like I wouldn't even be into it even if I knew I, I would have picked either one of ours and since Dunn and Bate didn't have any drama basically they unfortunately I, didn't have a story <laughs> yeah I just went with a non drama it was just match. a really good match yeah so I mean NXT always with the match of the years I think Pretty much. Mm. What did this get from Meltzer? Probably like four and a half or 4.75. Because you had five stars. Yep, I have five. That did not get five. Yeah. I think it got 4.75. So old. technically you're right, I guess. Because Dave's the worst. <laughs> technically you're right. <laughs> Dave right. is the worst, though. So now what we're doing is we're predicting what the awards will be for next year. For well, not all ones. of them. Yes, we're, we're not got, doing... Don't, don't scare Well, because us. we can't do... The individual brand MVPs, because there's going to be a draft or whatever you want to call it. Can't do best story, because, like, how the fuck would I know? <laughs> like, they just make shit up. Best story next year. Woken Matt. Forever and ever. <laughs> best everything. Forever. Best tag team? The Woken Universe. Whatever. <laughs> everything is Woken. So. Um, the Woken pay-per-view. <laughs> all right. Let's go in this order. What's going to be the best show? And by show, I think... Yeah, just go. This is a bold one, but I picked SmackDown Live. I went Raw because everyone's going to be on Raw. I mean, let's be serious. We had two choices here. No, you have it. <laughs> if, like, if they move, like, The shakeup is what will save it. If they move Finn and all those people over to SmackDown, mm-hmm. but, like, here's what's going to happen. Ronda's going to be on Raw. They're probably going to somehow fucking move Asuka back to Raw. <laughs> like, there's going to be all... And then it's... I don't know. I feel, AJ might move to Raw. Like... There's a lot of shit that could happen here that might jeopardize. I it want de- It depends who goes with SmackDown. It depends well, who gets called up. It I hope be- it's SmackDown because it's only two hours. Yeah, that's why I gave them the benefit of the doubt. I feel like people can s- hope. I just, I watched this year the way they treated SmackDown. That's bad. And I can't see that not they good. changed that. So, who is going to be, or what is going to be the best title? I picked WWE. I guess. I pick <laughs> Universal for... We're basically... You pick WWE because you got SmackDown being better. Yeah. And I got Universal because I got Raw being yep. better. So, it depends who Roman wrestles and it depends who... Sh- You're Finn. probably right. But... Because Roman's going to fucking <laughs> molest my poor Universal title for, champion for 10 like months. 75 years. But... I, there's hope. There is hope. There's some hope. Hey, it just has to have good matches. Doesn't necessarily mean he has to lose it. But that's the thing. <laughs> he's incapable with a belt of having good matches. He's going to have AJ soon. He's going to get beat up constantly and then magically win, which makes all of them annoying. Yep. <laughs> so, but I, I have dreams that Matt Hardy wins the Universal title. I have dreams. He's dreams. <laughs> I have dreams. So, he might get tag team. 
Who is going to be the breakout star? I put. The, we'll go next. So there. this one, I legitimately picked anyone besides Ronda because I knew you were probably going to. I picked Ronda. Yeah. So I picked the Velveteen Dream. All right. I see. I this one was hard because obviously we can't predict who's going to get called up when. Correct. I'm just going to say he's going to have a really good year in NXT and maybe towards like SummerSlam. Because I almost went Aleister Black. Yep. I'm not really into it, but I could see how it would work. Yep. I don't see Velveteen getting called up and not treated like a goddamn goofball <laughs> clown. Like, I could see Aleister Black taking what was supposed to be Baron Corbin's role in life. Well, does he have to be on the show? Does he have to be on the main roster to be Breakout? I mean... Because I'm assuming he has really good NXT year. <laughs> I'm not really assuming he gets called up. I feel like everyone's over in NXT. <laughs> that's the only thing. That's, that's, I feel like you got to make the well, transition. Because this with the new North American title, I think he's going to yeah. win that. Which you, they announced yesterday. No spoilers now. Ha. Yeah. But, but I think then, he's going to win But it. then is he already a star if we're counting NXT? Did he already break out? Well, he hasn't won anything. <laughs> I know, but I feel like people talk about it more than anyone else. I don't know. Gold well, dust. Pe- you telling me people don't talk about Ronda Rousey? But she hasn't had a match. That's fair. That's why I. That's why I <laughs> well, made I her. I was el- gonna pick her, and then I was like, I'll she was eligible for not having had yeah, a match. I was trying yet. to be different. I believe her matches will actually be fine, and we don't have to panic about this. Everyone else. I think a- she will too. Well, everyone else is in a panic. Do you- I don't think we got a panic. Kurt says she's the quickest learner. Yesterday. I mean, probably is because she's competed in multiple <laughs> combat sports, which would make the transition to doing this much easier than if you came from tennis. Well, considering, you know, Kurt was like the quickest learner, now it's her. I'm not really shocked by either one. Yeah, but like even then, like Kurt had even more limited, like he had wrestling. Yeah. She's had exposure to multiple things, which yeah. would make it even easier for her. Like if it was easy for him, it's going to be easier for her, theoretically. Just don't do the Simone job. Yeah, I just... Only because it looked painful when she had to get up. <laughs> I think the reason I gave it to her was because there's so much backlash against her. I think by the end of the... By next Mania, everyone will be on her side. I'm really just wondering how many times she's on after Mania. Like, what are they going to do with her? Is she going to have a match every pay-per-view? Well, that's the thing, because they probably wanted to win the belt at Mania. Because I know they I want... Know I'm pretty sure they want her to be like Brock, but I don't think she wants to be like Brock. I think she wants to like actually... Be there. Maybe she'll fight Daniel Bryan. I don't know where that came from. I feel I don't know. I feel like if they were gonna let somebody fight a guy, it would be her. Well, yeah, because all that shit with like which guys in the UFC could she beat during her UFC That's career. True. I feel like they're gonna pull the trigger on that at some point. And Daniel Bryan just seems like the right size. He's small. They wouldn't want to put him. Fin- they wouldn't put her against Kane. Okay. You wish. I wish. Maybe your dream. Match. He might be the breakout star. What happens when you get Ronda versus Nia? Nia wins. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nia. I picked Nia. Nia doesn't beat Oscar. Oh, Nia's gonna be- tap to a goddamn. Oh, I can already see her tapping. I'm I can't like- wait to try to see the judo throw. <laughs> I want to see, see Ronda Samoan drop. <laughs> so, finally, our final prediction: the company MVP for the year of WrestleMania 35. Daniel Bryan. Ooh. If he stays. Oh, well, that's the thing. I, <laughs> I'm taking the risk. I don't think he makes it to WrestleMania 35. <laughs> uh, just being honest. I have Finn because I think they're going to move him. And then they're going to finally cash in I all their... I think he saves SmackDown Live. Yeah, they're going to cash in all their <laughs> poker chips on Finn finally. I think he has to be the face of SmackDown Live when AJ leaves. Yeah. No, I just... AJ has to leave. I think they got, because of with Brock and whatever was going on in Raw, they got jammed up where they couldn't use his demon gimmick. They couldn't do this. Yeah. They couldn't do that. I think they're going to finally move him out of the way of that shit, set him free, and they're going to cash in all the money they can make. Also, I think um, AJ has built a nice house for Finn to now take over. I mean, <laughs> if the house is built. <laughs> if, they, if they look long into the future here. Yeah. That's a good way to set up the feud. Mm-hmm. AJ built the house. Finn takes over the house. Then it next year, Finn's they fight house. over the house. At WrestleMania? Well, like, so next year, draft AJ back to SmackDown. Have both of them on the same show and build to the next Mania, to because 36. Finn Balor said that the house that Finn Balor 
took over <laughs> <laughs> or something. <laughs> I think they love their catchphrases. Yeah. I was going to say Joe, but he's too injury prone. Oh, I want to say Joe. I, was, I didn't say Daniel because he's too injury prone. So I like, both, oh, really? Both of them were DQ'd. <laughs> I uh, wasn't going to pick Seth the Roman because no. I could um, be Kane. Kane has a strong not, capability. He might be mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee. I, I, actually, I did consider Sami Zayn. And I was like, once this Kevin Sami thing's over. He did. He's done. He's done. Career he is, ending injury. He's <laughs> bye bye. Um, Road duck. I wasn't <laughs> ever going to pick Johnny because he's going to 205 Live. Guaranteed. Hey, that could be the show of the year next year. It could be. <laughs> it's on a what? It's on it's play. Very good so far, and Roddy's gonna go there. Clearly, do you think? They kind of. Yeah, he isn't already sure. there. Yeah. <laughs> Does he count? Did you? Did I tell you Roddy and Pete Dunne were tag team? Uh, yeah. Like I, somehow I have. They that wrestled for a second time last night. Somehow I have that information. They are going Ryan. to take over to face the undisputed era without Bobby Fish. And the authors of pain who just never go away. I get so confused by like everyone flipping around between shows lately. <laughs> like I have no idea where Pete Dunn is. I don't know. Are you looking for someone? Yeah, not really. This is lo- this isn't sorted the way I wanted, so I just gave up. Alphabetical. Well, like I wanted them you could to sort by show. Br- yeah, you could do that at the top. Well, anyway, I was just seeing what they listed Roddy as, but I think down, 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 right there. You got to, yeah. Let's see. There's a lot of people. Ricochet. He's on NXT, but does he show up on 205s? That's the question we're going to ask ourselves. I was going to pick Ricochet as... No. Um, Neville Sawyer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was going to pick Ricochet as my breakout, but... Well, who knows? No one knows. Yeah, he, he, I was like, he's small. That's so a Vince risky move. Touches him, then no. <laughs> All right, so I think that's it. Oh, also, I saw something that EC3 should be Vince's kid, and I said, "Don't no ever more do that. kids, <laughs> no <laughs> more kids." That. I was like, "God, no!" All right, I could so see it though. <laughs> so we are done. We are. This will be going up Sunday morning, so that's when you're watching this, hopefully. Yeah. Which means on Thursday slash Wednesday night. You can see our recap of the go homes, but then on Friday you will get our WrestleMania predictions, our NXT takeover predictions. Then the following Monday you will get the wrap up from whatever happened at Mania. God bless our souls. <laughs> it could be a long one, folks. And then following that, resuming the normal schedule. Those are two big shows, though. SmackDown. Yes, the Raw and SmackDown. Do we do normal schedule or do we have to do a a special like Raw 25 recap style like get Raw's Monday after I mean, it Mania depends if it's Tuesday. good <laughs> well, it's got, something's gonna ha- someone's getting called who's up de- who's Shh. debuting B- woke and on Matt the Mike. spot who's debuting who's debuting <laughs> the authors of pain I would hope so <laughs> <laughs> easy pick they would be my tag team Michael Cole gets deleted the Raw after Mania that they, would be wonderful they need him for Mania so he has to get deleted after <laughs> oh and Joe makes his return on that the Undertaker retires. Yay. Could happen. John Cena goes away again. Probably. Today's show. He was on today. So. Of course he was. <laughs> He's always on the today show. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you're watching on my page, don't forget to head over to the correct page. The link is in the description. Also, this was available in audio format on Google Play, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, and other places probably at this point. So you can find it there. Link to that is below. We're done. See ya at Mania.